Alright guys, so we got to do a follow-up to the video I did about the based Muslim woman exposing the creepy guy on TikTok who allegedly, allegedly is trying to, I don't know, have conversations with kids alone. Now, again, um, you know, there's tons of speculation as to why would this person, Jeffrey Marsh, want to do this and again it's creeping people out right people are saying look man this is not normal you should not be trying to have conversations with children online without their parents okay you should not be trying to encourage children not to talk with their parents or to leave their parents or to leave their family members again i, I think it's reasonable to ask questions about this but apparently not okay according to the mob because you know according to the mob any criticism of anybody that is lgbtq uh is a form of bigotry and hate okay even if again you, you're simply just you know calling them out for something that you would call out anybody for regardless of whether or not you know they're lgbtq okay uh, i think it would be important to call out a, a straight you know man or whatever uh who is trying to lure kids into talking to them uh, alone okay or without their parents I, I i'm just saying this has nothing to do with lgbtq but again if you criticize anybody in that community uh that's automatically seen as a form of hate and bigotry and that is what is happening to this base muslim woman who dared again call out the mob or call out a member of the mob on some questionable tactics because now she is getting a whole lot of backlash and, and hate Okay, uh, for simply asking questions or telling, you know, Jeffrey Marsh to, hey, stop trying to talk to kids alone. Uh, and, and now she's facing the wrath of the mob and she's speaking out about this once again. And I want to respond to it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Why is it that when a person who looks like me voices their opinions and somehow they become something phobic? Yeah, welcome to the party. <laughs> right. It doesn't matter what you look like. Okay, it doesn't matter what you look like. Any criticism of the mob, any criticism of the left, any criticism of the Democrat Party uh, is a form of hate and bigotry, right? And they do that as a way to silence criticism, okay? They don't want to engage in actual debate, okay? They don't want to exchange ideas. They don't want to hear it. They want to silence you. And the easiest, fastest, most efficient way to silence somebody is to say that uh, it is a form of hate and bigotry or that what you're saying is, harmful or that you know the person might delete themselves because you criticize them that's the whole purpose right the whole purpose is to silence your voice okay again welcome to the party right black people who disagree with democrats are called white supremacists okay that's the type of world we're living in right welcome to <laughs> the party okay you effectively become a straight white male with the fact that you're calling out some of the woke nonsense there are so many content creators still stitching and duetting my videos and showing that Jeffrey Marsh is not creating content for kids. It's apparently for adults. One or two videos do say parents watch this video and then pass it to your kids or it says parents and kids watch it together. Let me explain why they say that. I will tell you about going no contact. So you've decided to go no contact with your family. <laughs> It's that time of year again when you start thinking about going no contact. Now, I don't know if it's just me, man, but this is some of the creepiest stuff I have ever seen, okay? This is extremely creepy. I don't know any reasonable person that can watch that and think that, oh, okay, yeah, this guy has, has you know, uh, good intentions. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man, like, I just don't have a good feeling about it, right? I, I really don't. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I want to encourage you and say something you may not have heard before. You're going to love it. So I'll give you a little tip about going no contact with your family. And the bloody icing on the bloody cake. I coach a lot of people one-on-one -on -one who want to go no contact with their parents. And these are just some of the videos. Some. So if Jeffrey Marsh is really wanting to talk to the adults, why is... Why are they already saying to the kids? <laughs> she got to make sure she doesn't miss, uh, miss, uh, miss gender, um, <laughs> you know, Jeffrey, right? Again, amazing. Uh, this is pointless because it doesn't matter whether or not you misgender him. You're still going to be seen as, you know, a white supremacist. Okay. You're going to be seen as hateful, right? You're going to be seen as a bigot. 
doesn't matter, right? This all this this capitulating to the mob and their you know crazy language is all for nothing. Right? I don't understand why you even try to do it. Go no contact with your adults or with your guardians. Why? This is why Jeffrey says parents watch this video as well. It's because the parents are not there because they have already separated the parents from the kids. So the kids are watching Jeffrey's videos separately and most likely privately because they, Jeffrey, is coaching them too. Well, let's hope that kids aren't, right? Let's hope that kids are smart enough to be like, you know what? This guy seems weird. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to do any private one-on-one -on -one talks with this guy, okay? I, I think that this guy... Uh, probably is so scary, right? That even kids are like, nah, I'm not, I'm not effing with this, right? I'm not, I'm, I think I'm gonna stay away. Let, let's hope that's the case. Jeffrey does one on one coaching on how to go no contact with your parents. Oh, wait, where have I seen that before? Oh my god, oh, oh my god, would you, would you bloody look at that? Bloody look at that. <laughs> yeah, again, coaching on how to go no contact with your parents. Why? Why would anybody want to do it? Again, I, I don't fit, you know, here's the thing. I understand when people come out the closet, right, and you have parents that are extremely conservative or religious or whatever, it's going to take time for parents to get used to it or to accept their child, right? It's going to be tough. I get it. But I, I don't think that that's an excuse to encourage people to have no contact with their parents, right? You only got one set of parents. You'll never have another uh, you should try your best to maintain a relationship with them, even if they don't necessarily accept your lifestyle. Because eventually, most of the time, they'll come around to it. They might not ever accept it fully or be happy with it, but I think most parents will eventually accept it, right? I don't think what the the, the right thing to do is to say, oh, you know, don't talk to your parents, don't talk to your family, you know, um, disown them or whatever because, you know, they don't accept you immediately. I think that's... That's a little bit too much, right? And I think it's weird when you got people that are trying to essentially replace parents, right? While trying to indoctrinate people into a, a, a lifestyle, especially a lifestyle that involves gender and, and sex. Again, that to me is just, it's weird. It's weird and it's something that I think is reasonable to, for people to ask questions about and say, hey, what, what's going on with this? Is this something that we should look into? Is this something that should be allowed that we should just stand by and just let it happen, right? I, I don't think so, right? I think that people should ask questions and raise concerns about this individual and what his motivations and intentions are for trying to get kids to go no contact with their parents, right? I think it's reasonable to ask questions about that. So that's it. Those are my videos. These are my receipts. And this is going to be the last video I make on this topic. Do you want to know why? A couple of days ago, something happened to my car and I didn't want to show it on TikTok, but now I will. See that? That happened. That happened to my car. I don't have any cameras on my house, so I don't know who did it. And I'm pretty sure it's not the bloody wind. And remember when I said during the beans and toast video that some people know where I live. So yeah, this will be my last video on Jeffrey Marsh's topic. Now you guys decide what you guys want to believe. And also, have you noticed my face has gone slimmer? It's because I'm using the hula hoop. Go to my website, okay? And get it for yourself. Why is it that? <laughs> yeah, so as you can see here, the mob does what the mob does, right? And, um, you know, allegedly, allegedly, they are attacking this woman, right? They, somebody, you know, attacked her car. Now, again, we don't know, okay, if, if the reason why this happened is because she made that video or whatever. But I'm just saying, I mean, it's a strange coincidence, right? Because, they, again, this is what the mob does, okay? People want to talk about what is the biggest threat of violence in this country? Well, what we've seen time and time again is always the left, right? It's always the woke left. Anytime they don't get their way, what they do instead of engaging in debate, they result to violence. Look at the BLM stuff. Look at the Roe v. Wade stuff. Look at that. I mean, I'm just saying that that's what happens. That's what happens. They're prone to the, these types of acts because they simply cannot stand people who disagree with them. They can't stand uh, dissenting opinions. And it's unfortunately that, you know, this is what they use in order to silence individuals. The tactics that they use are just disgusting. Okay? Because, again, like I told you guys, they'll smear you as a bigot. Okay? They'll say you're homophobic, whatever. If that doesn't work, they jump to, well, you're, what you're saying is harmful. Right? They try to get you censored on big tackle social media. And then, if that don't work, then they, they result to violence.
And I, I mean, that's, I mean, that, that typically, that, that's just kind of how it goes, right? And it really is a shame that these types of taxes are being used to silence somebody because of their speech and because they're saying, hey, look, uh, you know, we should be concerned about this, this individual, this grown individual who seems to be trying to have conversations with kids alone without their parents, <laughs> which I think, again, is something most people should be concerned about. But hey, you know, again, if you claim to be a part of a certain marginalized group, apparently you're above the law, right? You're, you, nobody can criticize you. Um, and again, you're just, you know, you're off limits. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.